award concentrates on the darker side of life with Villain of the Year. Once again, the winner has been decided by you. And here to present the award is the straight-talking, serial-investing, fire-breathing dragon, Duncan Bannatyne. <laughs> Thank you. The viewers were able to choose their villain of the year from these thoroughly nasty nominations. Let's take a look. And the top four voted by the viewers were Charlie Brooks, EastEnders. Yeah. Kate Ford, Connection Street. <laughs> Emma J. Scanlon, Hollyoaks. <laughs> and Don Gillet, EastEnders. <laughs> so let's have a look at those villains in, in action. <laughs> and the villain of the year is Emma J. Scanlon. <laughs> Thank uh, Paul Marcus and uh, Dorothy for taking a chance on me. Uh, the heads of Lyme and Channel 4 for keeping faith with me. Uh, the writing team for creating me. The canteen for feeding me. <laughs> My wonderful cast, directors, uh, crew for making me, most importantly to my family, friends, girlfriend and my daughter for inspiring me. Much love and respect to you. for best on-screen partnership here to present the awards is one of our best love TV couples they were husband and wife in Brookside before watching telly together in the royal family a couple who have never had a crossword to say about each other my ass please welcome <laughs> Ricky Tomlinson and Sue Johnston Lovely. Uh, lovely uh, the oh. nominations for the best on screen partnership are Jesse Wallace and Shane Ritchie Stenders, <laughs> Emma Atkins and Jeff Hardley for Emmerdale, <laughs> Catherine Kelly and Simon <laughs> Gregson for <laughs> and Kieran Richardson and Emmett Scanlon for Hollywood. So let's take a look. The winners are... Jesse Wallace and Shane Ritchie. If one thing stays constant in soaps, and that's change. Characters come and go. Occasionally they come back, played by a different actor. Or, in the case of Nick Tilsley, two different actors. <laughs> but soap needs new faces, so we now come to the award for Best Newcomer. Here to present it are two of the stars responsible for giving Essex the recognition it deserves. As the home of the fake tan, and the vajazzle. Oh, shut up! Ways, Essex, it's Mark Wright and Amy Childs! I was a little bit disappointed tonight because I thought I'd be presenting the um, sexiest girl of all, but... Oh, shut Mark. Thank you. <laughs> Newcomer. They are Ricky Norwood, EastEnders. Emmett J. Scanlon, Hollyoaks. Pauline Craig, Emma Dow. And Paula Lane, Coronation Street. Thank you. 
Jay Stanton. Uh, this is the direct result of the team you surround yourself with and no better people than these guys over here. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for welcoming me into your home with open arms. Thank you. It's, welcome back to the British Soap Awards 2011 where we come to one of the evening's most coveted honours, the award for Best Actor. The winner is chosen by a group of highly informed experts, namely you. The award is presented to a male star who has delivered a series of truly outstanding performances. It recognises excellence, passion and commitment. Here to present it is a woman who's reached the pinnacle of the acting profession. Two Oscar nominations, an OBE and now the title role of ITV1 detective series Vera. Please welcome the fantastic Brenda Bleffin. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Um, the viewers were able to choose their best actor from the following nominations. And the top four voted for by the viewers are Chris Gascoigne, yeah! Coronation Street. <laughs> Emmett J. Scanlon, Hollyoaks. <laughs> Danny Miller, Emma Day. And Shane Ritchie, EastEnders. Now let's have a look at them in action. And the winner. Danny Miller. Well, to get this, the inside scoop on that little teaser of a clip, it's Gemma Myrna, Nicole Barbalane, Claire Cooper. And some other McQueen family members as well. It's all kicking off here. And also the winner of Best Newcomer and Villain of the Year, Emmett J. Scanlon. First of all, congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Well done. For the Irish. <laughs> And for Hollyoaks, obviously. How are you feeling? Uh, great, yeah, shocked. Absolutely shocked. Yeah. yeah. You did actually seem genuinely surprised. I, yeah, I, I can't believe it, to be honest. Yeah, one was uh, the public vote. Um, I thought it would be uh, Charlie Brooks for their best villain, and then uh, the panel thing as well. I was just really nervous that I didn't mention my daughter, but I did mention my daughter, didn't I? You did. You that's OK, did. that's fine. That's you fine. mentioned it. Speaking of mentioning ladies in your life, yeah. um, little rumours have been telling us that you and Claire here are having a real-life romance. Exclusive here on Let's Party and ITV2. Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is true. How exciting. So, so you've won three times tonight. Yes. Oh, yeah. and two yeah. Yeah. Biggest prize right yes. here. Oh. Oh. We've just watched. So obviously your character's just got engaged. Yeah. And we're keeping it a secret. Yeah, she doesn't want the McQueen's to know, she wants to keep it low-key and she's wanting drama, which they will no doubt create. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's it. It's <laughs> repent, isn't it? We, you know, she's in a bad place, so she doesn't want a big thing happening. So are we gonna have will it be a big wedding or not? Or will very it happen? That's the question, will Ooh. it happen? <laughs> the McQueen's are actually an amazing family. So much hey. drama. Yes. And you're yes. always fighting, yeah. then making up, yeah. then fighting, yeah. sharing men, yeah. murdering them, having yeah. babies. And on yeah. screen. And on screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's just in the green room. No one's sharing my man. Oh. oh. What's, next? What's next to come for the McQueen family? Well, we've got some great stuff coming up. Absolutely fantastic. I'm in a lot of it. She doesn't far too much about champagne. Oh, I'm just going to take it off her. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Yes, thank, thank you so much. Thank you.